Hello dear students. This is Palash Chakraborty, Aston teacher, Square High School and College. Welcome to my class. This class is for class 11, subject English first paper, textbook preparation, unit 2, lesson 4. So let's see our today's topic. So today's topic, scientific breakthroughs who are waiting for part 2. So here we will find manned mission to Mars, nanomedicine and journey to the center of the earth. Okay, so let's discuss briefly about the text. Okay, manned mission to Mars. Putting man on Mars has been an idea in science fiction for quite a while. However, when man first walked on the moon, walking on Mars suddenly seemed feasible. A manned mission to Mars would be a huge milestone in space exploration. It would allow a more in-depth study of the red planet and many have argued that building a permanent base on Mars is much more practical than building one on the moon. A mission to Mars would be similar to the moon landings but much more difficult. Okay, so now let's nanomedicine. So nanotechnology has the potential to revolutionize several fields but its greatest contribution may very well be in medicine. The applications of nanotechnology in medicine are literally endless. Molecules could be built to stick and destroy cancer cells. Advanced drug delivery techniques could be used to deliver drugs to specific parts of the body and eliminate side effects. Microscopic robots could be used to perform ultra-delicate surgeries to repair damaged tissues or to hunt um, and destroy certain cells like cancer cells or bacteria. Nanomedicine is currently in its infancy but it may prove to be the biggest breakthrough in modern medicine since the first vaccine. So now it is journey to the center of the earth. It seems very uh, fantastic. So in the 19th century it was generally thought that man would reach the center of the earth long before he reached the moon. This shows just how unpredictable technology can be. A journey to the center of the earth is actually much more difficult than it sounds. The pressure at the center of the earth is enormous because quite literally the entire weight of the world is on the top of you. There is no known substance, not even carbon monotubes that can maintain its shape at such a great pressure. So while the Earth's deep interior may offer vast amounts of energy, it may be quite a while uh, before we can tap into it directly. Okay, so now it's time to read some vocabulary here. So let's go the first feasible. Capable of being done. Mission. The business with which such a group is charged. Martian. A hypothetical or fictional inhabitant of Mars. Gravity. The force that attracts a body towards the center of the Earth. Milestone. An action or event making a significant change. Speculate. Conjecture about a subject without firm evidence. 
interior situated within or inside so now read the following text of about nanomedicine and make a flowchart showing the uses of nanotechnology so number one has been done for you so let's see the question pattern number one that has been done for you creating a revolutionary change in the field of nanomedicines and there are some flows and boxes for you to complete the flow okay so to complete this flowchart we will know about the rules of writing flowchart again so let's see number one generally you shouldn't write full sentences in the box number two don't write the subject number three write lowercase if it is not proper noun don't give full stop and there are some other mostly used methods that you can follow so here we will have the mostly used methods so you can use infinitives that mean to plus present form of verb plus extension or you can use gerund or participle that mean present form of verb plus ing plus extension or you can follow uh, to use preposition or gerund that mean that could be by or for or any preposition Present form of verb plus ing plus extension, or you can use single word or phrase. You can use different forms of verbs. That means present form of verbs, past form, past form of verbs, past participle form of verbs, verbs that with s or es or ies plus extension. So the most important thing is that you should write every sentences in an individual box and give them a flow sign that's very important so let's see what would be the answer of that flow chart so the answer creating a revolutionary change in the field of medicine after that i'm giving a flow sign okay so number two introducing of molecules stick to destroy cancer cells Again, there is a flow sign and box. Advancing drug delivery to specific parts of the body. Again, there is a flow sign. Okay, number four. Eliminating of the side effects of drugs. Then flow sign and the box. Using of microscopic robots to perform ultra delicate surgeries. And the last one. There is flow sign and a box here. Number six, using of microscopic robots to repair the damaged tissues. So here would be a probable answer of that flow chart. Okay, so now we will uh, know about uh, another answer of that flow chart. So let's see. So here we start with to create a revolutionary change in the field of medicine. So in that case, you can give the flow sign and the box to introduce of molecules stick to destroy cancer cells, or uh, you can write to advance drug delivery to specific parts of the body. Then you can write to eliminate of the side effects of drugs, or you can write uh, to use microscopic robots to perform ultra delicate surgeries. And the last one. You can write uh, to use microscopic robots to repair damaged tissues. So you can use any one of the rules that are given in the lesson. So practice more and more flowchart. It's very easy. Okay, so that's for all today. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching my video stay safe be blessed and thank you